Do you want to know how to run stable diffusion? I'm talking about any model, even your own custom ones, on any computer, Mac or PC, no matter what graphics card you have, all from the cloud. Then stick around, because I'm going to make this really, really easy for you. Hello, hi everyone, welcome in. I'm David Tatera, and I teach AI for businesses. In this video, I'm going to walk you through every step of setting up Run Diffusion, including adding custom models from Hugging Face and moving your own model over from a Google Drive. You'll begin by going to rundiffusion.com, then clicking on the Get Started link up at the top. Now I'm assuming you're new here, so select the Sign Up button, and then you're gonna get the normal username, password, CAPTCHA kind of stuff, followed by an email confirmation, and that's gonna take you to this page. Next, you're gonna have to add some funds. So the way Run Diffusion works is that you pay by the minute for however long you use their computers. Now the most basic GPU option gives you 1024 by 1024 images in three seconds at a cost of 50 cents an hour, which is pretty cheap. Now if you need to process higher resolution or faster images, you can pay 99 cents an hour for two second 2048 images or $2.50 for 1.6 second 4K and 8K images. In my experience, the basic 50 cent option works great for everything unless you start using Deforum or some of the video options. To get some money in your account, just click on the add funds button and it's gonna lead you up on this page. Now you have to buy your GPU time in blocks of $10. However, you're only gonna be charged for the actual minutes you use. But if you plan on uploading your own custom model, then you may not wanna do this at all yet. I'll explain that in just a moment. For now, put in your payment information, buy some time, and head back over to this page. On each session, you get to choose how long it should run. This is the maximum amount of time that you're going to be charged for. If you exit early, it's only going to bill you for the time that you actually used. However, if something distracts you and you forget to log out, this is when the system will automatically close your session so you don't end up wasting all that money you just spent. Next, head on down and click launch to begin loading your session. Now this is gonna take two to four minutes for the server to load up each time. And when it does, you're gonna get a screen like this. From this page, you can enter prompt, negative prompt, change the size or sampling, and even access a bunch of other cool tools like Deforum or the Open Pose Editor. Now I'm not gonna dive into those right now. Instead, I'm just gonna stay focused on the basics of accessing Run Diffusion. I will, however, be diving deeper into these tools in a separate video. And if that interests you, then click on the subscribe button to see all these updates. Also, give me a thumbs up if you're finding this video helpful so far. Mahalo guys. Up here, you have the available model. And as you can see, you get a full list of 59 different models to choose from. However, you cannot upload new models yet. If you wanna upload a custom model, you need to join the Creators Club. By joining the Creators Club, you automatically get $6 in GPU time. So if you know that this is the route that you wanna go, then you can skip adding that $10 at the beginning that I showed you. Click on the sign up link and you're gonna be taken here. Now yes, the Creators Club is $36 per month. And it's the only way to use custom models in Run Diffusion. I do have a promo code that I'll leave here on this screen and in the description down below. This will get you 15% off, which will take it down to $30.59. Just enter all your information, click subscribe, and you're gonna be loaded back into the Diffusion interface. Before I show you the last steps to transfer in your model, I wanna let you know about a special offer I have right now at 7minuteblog.com. I recently created a system by which you can use the AI to make fantastic, high quality, engaging blog posts that pass the AI filter on any subject in under seven minutes. I'm talking about 1200 word long formatted posts with links and everything ready to upload on any subject you want, even current events. If you or the company you work for could use this, then just head over to 7minuteblog.com right now. As a test run, I'm offering it for free but that's not gonna last long. Okay, to access your custom storage and transfer in your model, you're gonna have to relaunch the server. So click up here to stop, then set up and launch a new server. Now you can see this file browser section here on the right hand side. This is where you can upload and store custom models. You're gonna need to log in with this generic username and password, not your unique one, since you're already logged into the system. To add a custom model from your Google Drive, you're gonna need to enter this phrase g down space fuzzy space and then copy and paste the url link from your google drive make sure it's set so that anyone with the link can access it once you enter the link run diffusion is going to begin to transfer this model 
Now they have a fast connection. I was able to transfer a two gigabyte file in under a minute. So just hit the refresh button and look for your file. This one is mine, but you can see it's not showing up in my models list. Oh yeah, you may also have noticed that the 59 models normally available are also gone. This is one of the strange things about Run Diffusion. When you upgrade, they give you a stripped down version, but you can easily add more models in and I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second. To access your own model, drag it into the models folder. Then, unless you have a version two model, which is unlikely, drag it into the version one folder. Now, when you refresh, your model appears. Now, I named myself 808 Dave in this model, since I'm blessed to live in the great state of 808. So if I ask for an image of 808 Dave, it's gonna create something that looks like me. When I originally recorded these screenshots, it was the 20th of April. So to celebrate getting through the three hour marathon that it took me to figure out and record all of this, I created a 420 celebration image with the prompt 8K photograph Unreal 5 808 Dave smoking a massive joint on 420 to celebrate figuring out all this. And it produced this wonderful image. Thank you very much, Run Diffusion. Oh yeah, and to add a standard model from Hugging Chat, you're gonna need a different command than GDown. Type wget space dash b space. Then head over to the Hugging Chat repository. Pick the model that you want, click on the model code base here link, and copy the URL from the download link. Then enter it into your prompt. Now you could try and download and upload these files, but Run Diffusion is gonna transfer in a five gigabyte file in about four minutes, which is way, way faster than your internet's gonna allow. Once it's there, you'll see it under the listed files, just move it into the correct folder, probably version one of your models again, click refresh, and you're gonna be all set with access to your new stable diffusion model. And that's it. Now you are all set up with Run Diffusion and any models that you want. Now, in case you missed it, I already have a really simple video that shows you exactly how to create a custom model of your own likeness and save it to your Google Drive. It's the exact system I used to create the one that I was showing in this video. And you can check that out by clicking here.